Okay, hello guys. So I'm kind of voicing over this video because uh, what I said at the beginning didn't all make sense. So anyway, so today we're making gusantes, gusantes or pork and peas stew, Filipino pork and peas stew. So right now I started off with two pounds of uh, pork butt and I just chopped them in about an inch by two inch pieces. And I get one uh, sweet onion in there. You can use a yellow onion or white onion. And I get about three or four bay leaves. And um, what I'm going to add now in a little bit is about four cloves of chopped garlic. And once I add that chopped garlic, um, I'm going to put some shoyu inside, uh, soy sauce. And I put in the soy sauce just to cover or coat the meat. I'm not soaking the meat in the in the soy sauce. I'm just pretty much coating the meat and marinating them that way. Okay? So uh, it's going to be about, for two pounds of pork, it's going to be about half cup, maybe a third cup shoyu. And with that shoyu, I add in about an eighth cup or two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of patisse. Okay? And once you add the patisse and the soy sauce, just, just mix them up and get them so everything gets coated with the soy sauce and the patisse. Uh, you're, not, you're not sitting in liquid, you're not marinating in liquid, all you're doing is coating this. And we're going to let them sit like that. Okay. And once we get them sitting like that, uh, we'll get back to you and uh, we'll add some more ingredients. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit. So I got them all mixed together now. What I did was we you know, put about half cup show you maybe just a little bit, touch more, tablespoon more. And just mix them around. And so you get your the meat marinating in the soy sauce. Yeah, you're not making them swim in the soy sauce now. All you're doing is covering, covering the meat, getting them... Um, just the shoyu sauce all touching all over the pork butt, yeah. So you're not, you know, you know much. You don't have much shoyu inside there. Just enough to get the meat and everything. The ayin is all marinated together, okay. And uh, as you can see, look, I put them on the side. No more, no liquid inside. You're just covering the meat and everything, getting marinated with the garlic and everything like that. We're gonna leave this like this for about two hours, um, hour half, two hours. And then what we're gonna do is we'll put them on the stove. We're gonna boil them. Um, add the tomato sauce later on, add the peas, and we get gusantes, okay? So let, let this thing marinate for a little while, about an hour and a half, two hours. It can go as little as an hour, but the longer the better. And um, when I start to cook this thing, I'll get you guys, I'll get back to you folks in a little bit. All right? See you folks okay, hello guys. So I got this pork uh, marinated for about one hour now, uh, about hour 15 minutes. And I just went chop up one uh, red bell pepper, and I just rough chop and then throw them inside. So I'm gonna put them on the fire now. So remember, we started off with about two pounds of pork butt, chopped up, yeah? Uh, ch cut, cut them into about inch, inch by two inch pieces. And then uh, I get uh, four cloves of chopped garlic, and about about quarter cup shoyu, maybe a little bit more, maybe a third cup shoyu. Just enough soy, soy sauce to coat the meat. You don't, not, you're not drowning them, you're not boiling them in soy sauce. You just would mix the soy sauce enough to coat the meat. Okay, I let that stand and sit for marinade for about, oh, and I get one sweet onion inside there. One chopped onion, yeah, rough chop. And then, so now what I did was I let it sit for about hour, 15 minutes, hour, half. And then just before I put them on the fire now, I chopped, chopped up one uh, red bell pepper. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on one low, medium fire. You know, like this thing start scorching and burning you're not frying anything and what we're gonna do is just slowly bring them up to a simmer and just leave them there for about hour half or until the pork come tender okay and just before uh we just before you know just before the, the pork comes super tender what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one cup or cup and a half of tomato sauce and uh the frozen peas that's the best way for doing them so this is one real simple way of doing uh, um, gusantes, yeah? Uh, there's other recipes out there, but we found this to be the simplest. And I learned from one uh, while well, my ex is Filipino, so. Anyway, so just, um, let's get this thing on the fire now. And when we start bringing them up to one simmer, I give, I show you guys what's going on. So we remember now, low, medium heat, just uh, bring them up slowly. Take your time with this thing, you know, like, this thing burn off or anything like that and then uh we get we go from there okay so i'll see you folks in a bit okay guys so this is about 40 minutes into the cooking starting to come up to a simmer i had the cover on all this time 
Uh, let's just keep simmering to it. The pork gets about three quarter way done. Then we're gonna add the tomato sauce into it. So right now, basically, we got um, uh, chopped up or cut up uh, pork pork butt. Um, we got uh, one large onion, uh, some bay leaf, and soy sauce. About one third cup soy sauce just to coat the the meat. No water, no anything. And I get red bell pepper in there. And I put uh, chopped up four cloves of garlic. Okay, so we just started to on low medium fire at the beginning, um, low medium fire for now, and then after that we'll bring it. We'll start bringing it really down to low and just simmer this till the pork gets tender. Once the pork gets tender, we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I'll see you guys. In okay, a hello guys. So what I did was I everything been boiling for about an hour and a half now, and the pork is just about getting tender. So I put one can of tomato sauce in it, and I'll put the size of the can down in the recipes at the end. And I put about a pound and a half of frozen peas. Just use frozen peas. Don't use canned peas, because the thing just going to turn into mush, okay? Now once you get that in, start stirring everything around, and bring everything back up to a boil. And once we bring everything back up to the boil, and uh, what I'm going to do now, while it's coming back up to the boil, we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. Um, I know the recipe doesn't call for sugar, but we add the sugar to cut the acid of the tomato sauce. And well, with that being said, to try to cook your guisantes in one stainless steel pot if you can, okay? Um, because the acid of the tomato, if you put them in an aluminum pot or a cast iron pot, it, it kind of reacts with the the iron and it makes there's a metallic taste that comes out. So, so try and cook it in a stainless steel pot. We're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar. And, uh, and we'll let it simmer down to get the peas soft and the sauce thickened up. Um, and we pretty much be ready to serve after that. So when I get back to you, I'll show you guys the final product and we'll go from there, right? See you folks in a bit. Okay, guys. So I got everything stirred in. One more thing, yeah. So I'm, I put the fire up a little higher to get it to bring this frozen pea. So I'm bringing it back up to a boil. Once I bring it back up to a boil, I'll, I'll bring down the fire again to, to medium low or low uh, to simmer for about 10 more minutes. And I'll simmer it with the cover off now so we can kind of concentrate all the flavors, yeah? So just to let you know, and I forgot to add that, so... Okay, so I'll see you folks in a bit. Yeah, hello, guys. So I got it simmering for about a good 15 minutes now. Um, so it's pretty much ready. What I'll do is I'll serve some up and show you guys what it looks like. Um, simmer it with the pot uh, uh, cover off for now so it'll kind of thicken up a little bit. As you kind of wait around and... You know, if you're going to eat this for leftovers tomorrow, it's going to be a lot thicker and a lot better. Be, the, the flavors will melt a little bit better. All right? So, anyway, this is it. Gusantes. Let me go plate some up for you guys, show you guys what it looks like, and uh, we can go from there. Okay? See you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So, this is pretty much your finished product. Um, pork gusantes. Uh, or pork in peace too, whichever you call it. So, I'll have the recipe at the end of this video. Um, it's real simple, simple to make. It's, you know, it takes a couple hours though because you got to braise the pork. But other than that, it's real simple to make. Serve it over some rice, put scoop macaroni salad if you like. But, uh, <laughs> but oh no. Well, you know, you guys, I'm sure everybody from Hawaii, or if you guys grew up in Hawaii, you guys had gisantes once or twice, you know, I, I don't know, for us was like a lot of times. But anyway. So, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. Um, thank you guys for watching and thank you for all the subscribers. I will be trying to put up another video up soon. Um, like I said, we stay at home right now, so I cannot get to any kitchens. But anyway, you folks take care. Stay blessed out there. Stay safe. And I wish you so see you folks in the next video. Aloha.